What is up you guys? Megan Houston here, your registered dietitian. And for today's video, it is how to diet in 2021. Now I am a nutrition expert. I learned a lot about nutrition in school, in my internship, and that's also what I do now as my job. But what I see all the time is people creating New Year's resolutions about losing weight, getting healthier, whatever it may be about health, and then it never ends up happening. And then next year they make the same exact resolution because they didn't reach their goal. So I'm gonna give you five tips on how to actually be successful in your diet for 2021. Now, why I put it in quotations is that really for you to lose weight and keep it off, it's gonna be a lifestyle change. So any changes that you make, it's gonna be long-term. So it's not really just a diet, but it's something that you're gonna do forever. So let's go ahead and get right into it. The first tip is try to stay away from fad diets. This is keto, paleo, Whole30, vegan, pescatarian, the cabbage soup diet, the ballerina diet, whatever the thing is, or even supplements. So we'll see like this pill will help you lose weight. I think that some of these fad diets do have some very great nutrition points, sort of eating whole foods and eating lean protein and trying to focus on healthy, wholesome meals. But trying to define yourself into one diet is really not going to work because you are unique. You have your own likes for your food. You have your own schedule. You need to make your own unique diet that you can sustain forever. Because if you want to keep the weight off that you're going to lose, it needs to be a change that you can do forever. So remember, when you're thinking about your diet for 2021, all foods can be part of a healthy diet. Don't feel like you have to cut out a food for the rest of your life to reach a weight because that's not true. Just remember that you just have to be mindful about your portions and just like I said, take bits and pieces of each and every fad diet, whatever it is that you like to follow and then mold it to what you like to do rather than trying to mold yourself into what someone else likes to do. Tip number two is to not skip meals. If you're trying to cut calories, cutting meals is not the way to do it. Your body needs energy to live and for your heart to beat every single day. So instead of cutting meals, change your meals. Give your body the energy that it needs to move every single day and you'll feel a whole lot better. You won't be as tired, you won't feel so groggy, and it'll be a lifestyle change. Tip number three is that diet is not the only part about losing weight. To lose weight, it takes a lot more than just your diet. It's physical activity, it's sleep, it's stress management, it's overall happiness. All these things affect hormones in your body that can either make it easier or much, much harder to lose weight. So if your goal is to lose weight in 2021 and you're only getting four hours of sleep, you probably need to make a sleep goal too because if you're never gonna reach that weight loss goal if you're depriving your body of the rest that it needs. So remember, diet's not the only key to reaching your goal. Tip number four is accountability. Whether it's a notepad, an app, a friend, a coach, a coworker, whatever it is, talk to somebody about your goals. This is gonna help you keep moving when you hit a wall. Just being able to talk to somebody or write it down in a diary is gonna help you release, release some stress or some feelings when you feel like you haven't lost weight or aren't seeing the changes in your body that you wanna see that week, sometimes you're gonna hit plateaus and sometimes you're gonna hit walls, but that's what you have that friend for so that you can keep going and you won't stop. The biggest thing that people end up doing is they stop. You just gotta keep going. 
And then tip number five is slow and steady wins the race. I know a lot of people wanna lose weight just like that, but that's not how it happened. Most of the time, people gain weight over years of time. So how do you expect to lose weight in a matter of days? You can't, it's just not a safe way to do it because it's not sustainable. Think about, about half a pound to two pounds a week is perfect. If you only see half a pound, that's half a pound. That's fantastic. And there are more ways to measure your success than just the scale. Think measuring your waist, measuring your arms or thighs, how your clothes fit, your confidence, how you feel about yourself. Just by eating healthier and working out, you're gonna feel better about you. So just remember, slow and steady wins the race. Find something to help you keep accountable. Remember, diet's not the only thing that's gonna affect your weight loss. Don't skip meals, fuel your body, and then remember that they have to be lifestyle changes. A fad diet isn't gonna be something that you do forever. Pick the pieces that you like that you can do from each and every one of them to help you create the best healthy diet for you. So I hope this was helpful helpful for 2021 because I know that so many people are really excited about it and I want you to succeed. If you have any questions about how to set a goal or what to expect or even a realistic goal, just message me directly or comment down below and I can try to help. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to thumbs up this video and subscribe to my channel by hitting that little notification bell down below. And I hope you have a great start to your 2021.